Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to deploy the FTDV in EXXI. First, let's create and register a new VM. Select Deploy a Virtual Machine from an OVF or OVA file. Click Next. Give it a meaningful name. And then select and drop the OVF and the VMDK file there. Right. So I've already downloaded the image. Right. What you need to do is just drag and drop in there and then click next. Select the data store. Click next. Read through the end user license agreement and then click I agree. Followed by click next. Take note of the following. Right, you need four, four interface, right? The management, the diagnostic, right? Gigabit Ethernet 00 and Gigabit Ethernet 01 to be enabled by default, right? So we'll keep management, management diagnostic and Gigabit Ethernet 0 1 as the inside interface and change 00, 0 to the outside interface. Okay, DPSE virtual switch is connected to my outside interface. Next, select the deployment type 4 core 8 gigabit or 8 gigabyte of memory allows you to deploy FTDV of throughput 100. And one gigabyte, right? Uh, and you can look at the documentation on the corresponding core and memory to the corresponding throughput, right? And then for the demo purposes, I'm choosing thin provisioning so that I can adjust the memory uh, and the hard disk as required. For production, you might want to choose thick so that it might help in improving the performance. Once that is done, click Next, review the selection, and then click Finish. You'll see that a new virtual v, uh, VM is being created, and then start the process of uploading the disk to the new VM. Once that is done, locate the new VM. I've selected auto power on so you can see that after a couple of seconds the image will reboot by itself. It takes a couple of minutes for the reboot to complete. Right, I'll fast forward this and then come back when it's done. Once that is done, The default username is admin, password is capital A, admin123. Okay, you must accept the EULA, right? read through the agreement. And then press yes to agree. You need to set a new password. It has to be alphanumeric with uppercase, lowercase, and a special character. Reconfirm the password. Then it will prompt you whether if you want to configure the, net the network. You can do it here or in the FDM. Right, so I'm going to do it here and show you uh, the IP addresses so that you can get access to the FDM browser interface much easier. Do you want to continue with IPv4 configuration? Uh, right now, I'm not going to configure IPv6. Right, I'm going to select DHCP to 
allow the outside interface to get its IP from my DHCP server. Take a while for the configuration to complete. Then it asks you whether you want to manage the device locally. Right, for this setup, I'm going to do uh, managing of the device locally. Uh, I'll show you the integration of FMC in another video and CDO as well. So once you select yes, it will configure the firewall mode to routed. Update the policies and then it's done. Right. What you want to see here to just get the management IP address is to type in show network. It will show you the management IP address, which is 192.168.45.46. I have already have a client machine behind the firewall configured. So let's switch over. I've configured a virtual machine behind the FTDV just to show you the setup. Inside the virtual machine, launch the command prompt, issue the IP config command. So for this virtual machine, I've configured two IP addresses or two network interface, one on the net, uh, outside so that I can do my RDP. Uh, Ethernet one is connected to the inside of the FTDV, right? So what I'm going to do is to now renew the Ethernet 1 IP. Just be careful not to renew the Ethernet 0 or release the Ethernet 0 IP because you get disconnected from the RDP session. Okay, you can see that we have gotten the uh, IP address from the FTDV itself. Once that's done, Open up a browser, key in HTTPS, remember, of the management interface, which is 192.168.45.46. Right, you'll see your connection is not private, it's normal since we have not trust the certificate yet. Right, then click on proceed to the IP address. FDM will be launched, key in admin, and the new password that you have configured. If this is the first time logging into the FDM, it will prompt you to set up an internet connection, right? So we can follow through the wizard by clicking next. So you establish a rule that allows all outbound traffic and block all inbound traffic okay and as I have configured early on we're using DHCP for the outside interface address there's a couple of minutes for the changes to be done when that is done you'll prompt you to set the time zone okay select your time drone time zone so that you know your locks and events, you know, a timestamp with the proper time zone, right? You can choose your own NTP time server or just keep it as the default and then click next, right? We'll start with the 90 days evaluation that is default out of the box and I'll show you how to get your smart license later on. Click on continue, right? We have specified 4 core and 8 gig for our VM, right? So you can see with 4 core and 8 gig, it allows you to have FTDV5, which is 100 meg throughput, and FTDV10, which is a 1 gig throughput. For this demo, I'm going to choose FTDV10. As you can see, the rate limit, right, is at 1 gig. Uh, with 250 VPN and 250 for the VPN. 
So once that is done, click on finish. Would have completed the FTDV setup. Now, you can use CDO, right? If you have the CDO license to manage the FTDV um, through a cloud management portal, right? But for this demo, we're going to use standalone. So click on standalone, right? You can further connect, uh, choose to configure the interfaces and the policies, right? For default setup, I'm going to just keep it as it is. I will just click got it, right? And you can see that the configuration is done. A couple of things to validate. First, you can put a mouse over your Ethernet zero, zero port. You should see um, the DHCP IP address being assigned, right? So we'll take a look at what is wrong, that why it's not getting an IP address. But on the inside, you'll see that the inside IP address is configured. Now, if you do a mouse over the port 00, you will say that Gateway is connected to port Gigabit Ethernet 00 name outside, right? And if you see this is green, it means that the connection to the internet is being established. So let's take a quick look at why isn't the interface getting the IP address, okay? So since from the configuration, it does, it is getting the IP address, right? 23 is my um, connection to the uh, router that is connected to the external interface. Let's do a mouse over again. Okay, now we can see that it is actually being updated. So it might just be a refresh issue, So, but we're good to go, All right? Inside is done, outside is done, All right? So that is pretty much um, all that it, you need to do to get the FTDV up and running. Right, if you want to do a quick validation from a router, you can always ping. And you see that you can ping cisco.com, right, which is the external interface. Okay, so that's all for today's demo. Right, I'll show you how to do uh, additional configuration for the smart licensing in another video. So thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video while, where I will share how do you configure the or uh, register the smart license. Okay, thank you very much and stay safe.